last book today is Mr. Gumpy's Motor Car by John Burningham. Mr. Gumpy was going for a ride in his car. It's an old fashioned car. He drove out the gate and down the lane. May we come too, said the children. May we, said the rabbit, the cat, the dog, the pig, the sheep, the chickens, the calf, and the goat. My goodness, that's a lot of people. All right, said Mr. Gumpy, but it will be a squash. And they piled in. Oh, I think we should make some noises. We got a cow. Moo. We got a pig. <coughs> Got a chicken, a cat, meow, a rabbit, that doesn't really make noise, <laughs> a sheep, a dog, and a goat. Oh goodness, it's a lovely day, said Mr. Gumpy. Let's take the old dirt road across the fields. I don't like the look of those clouds. I think it's going to rain, said Mr. Gumpy. Oh, it's getting darker. Very soon the dark clouds were right overhead. Mr. Gumpy stopped the car. He jumped out, put up the top, and down came the rain. Oh, it's so dark and stormy. I hope everything's okay. The road grew muddier and muddier and the wheels began to spin. Mr. Gumpy looked at the hill ahead. Some of you will have to get out and push. Oh, he needs help from everyone. Not me, said the goat. I'm too old. Not me, said the calf. I'm too young. Not us, said the chickens. We can't push. Why can't the chickens push? Is it because of their wings? Probably. Not me, said the sheep. I might catch cold. Not me, said the pig. I've a bone in my trotter. Not me, said the dog. But I'll drive if you like. Not me, said the cat. It would ruin my fur. Not me, said the rabbit. I'm not very well. Not me, said the girl. He's stronger. Not me, said the boy. She's bigger. Everyone made some pretty weak excuses. <laughs> the car sank deeper into the mud. Now we're really stuck, said Mr. Gumpy. They all got out and pushed. No more excuses. They pushed and shoved and heaved and strained and gasped and slipped and slithered and squelched. <gasps> Slowly, the car began to move. Don't stop, cried Mr. Gumpy. Keep it up. We're nearly there. Everyone gave a mighty heave. The tires gripped. The car edged its way to the top of the hill. They looked up and saw that the sun was shining again. It began to get hot. We'll drive home across the bridge, said Mr. Gumpy. Then you can go for a swim. And they did. After a while, it was time to go home. Goodbye, Mr. Gumpy. Come for a drive another day. Well, there we have all our friends. We have a cow, a goat, a bunny, a cat, meow, a sheep, what did we miss? The dog? Woof, woof. And the chickens? And then the pig. <laughs> I loved that book. We got to make some fun animal noises. And it was about helping out your friends, even when you don't really want to. Sometimes that happens. You, I don't feel like it. But you just do it anyway. <laughs> It was pretty good, eh?